Hello students, today let us see a problem from the topic PGN whole principle. The question is this, in a group of six people, at least three are mutual friends or at least three are mutual strangers. This is what we are asked to prove using PGN whole principle. Basically, in a PGN whole principle, to apply PGN whole principle, number of PGNs should be greater than number of PGN whole principle. So, I take the problem in this way. A group of exactly six persons are taken. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, I am going to create two PGN holes. First PGN hole consists of friends to A. And second pigeon hole consists of strangers to A. So the number of pigeon holes is 2. Now A is the reference, so I take the remaining 5 persons P, B, C, D, E, F as pigeons. So N is equal to 5. Now by generalized pigeon hole, if we apply at least one pigeon hole as at least n minus 1 by m plus 1 pigeons. So n is 5, m is 2. If you apply at least one pigeon hole has at least three pigeons. Here the pigeons are persons, so at least three persons a pigeon hole contain. Now I take two cases. Pigeon hole 1 contains 3 persons and pigeon hole 2 contains 2 persons. I name them as BCD in pigeon hole 1, EF in pigeon hole 2. Now the first case, in the pigeon hole 1 I have taken 3 persons BCD. Now I assume all the three, at least two persons are mutual friends to each of them. So I take B and C are the persons who are mutually friends to each of them. So if you consider A is friend to B already known, A is friend to C already known, B and C are now we assume are friends to each other. So A, B, C are mutually friends. So we got three mutual friends in case one of case A. And in the second case, none of them are friends. So if we take A is friend to B, A is friend to C, A is friend to C. But these three persons are not friends to each other. So we found three mutual strangers. B is not friend to C. B is not friend to C. C similarly, C is not friend to B. C is not friend to D. So we found three mutual strangers in case 2 of case A. Now, case B. Pigeon hole 2 contains three persons. So I name Pigeon hole 1, B and C. Pigeon hole 2, D, E, F. So, again I take case 1. At least two of them are mutual strangers in pigeon hole 2. So, I take they are D and E. D and E are mutual strangers. So, automatically D and F and E and F are friends. Now if you take A, D, E, they are mutual strangers to each other. So case 1 we got 3 mutual strangers in case B. And if you take case 2, none of them are mutual strangers. So D is known to E, D is known to F. E is known to D, E is known to F. If we take D, E, F are mutual friends to each other. So we got three mutual friends in case 2 of case B. So in both the cases, we either got three mutual friends or three mutual strangers. Thus, the problem 
we got proved the desired result so let us continue see another problem in the next video thank you